Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today I have a quick and chill unboxing for you or more like just taking things out from their packages. These are the notebooks and planner I'll be using for 2024 and yeah, let's just get started. The first package here you would probably have seen if you watch my Osaka vlog. I think you can probably already tell what it is but let's get it out from its paper bag. It is a passport size traveler's notebook, but before we take a look at that, let's take a look at the brass charm I got for it. When I went to Osaka, I also took a day trip to Kyoto and went to the Traveler's Factory Kyoto, so I had to get the Kyoto brass charm. It's so cute. Next, let's open up the Traveler's Notebook itself. I'm super happy with the color of this little passport size. At first, I was debating between the blue and the black, and yes, I went with the blue. But this blue is a very dark, it's almost black kind of blue. These Traveler's Notebook can have very different shades even though they are the same color. So yeah, I am very happy with the one I got. I think I tied the elastic band a little too loosely, but that's okay because I think this little guy is gonna get quite chunky. The next item, um, I'm really excited about this one, is this Hobonichi A6 Hon. This is the collaboration with Maki no Tomitaro and I think it is so so pretty. I had such a hard time again deciding between just the normal A6 and the Hon, but ultimately I went with this one. One of the reason I went with the Hon is that they give you a pencil board with a pen loop attached to it and I didn't want to purchase an extra pencil board and add it on to the cost so I went with the Hon. I want to use this notebook for memory keeping in 2024. I feel like when I have dated pages, I'm more inclined to actually fill it out and memory keep. That being said, I'm not going to pressure myself to fill it out every day. If I have some blank pages, then that's totally fine. Hobonichi gives you a gift with every planner purchase. I bought one notebook and my mom bought two, so we have three of these pens now. It is basically just a Unijet stream and I really like the color of this year's pen. Last year was this brown color which isn't really my taste but this year I love it so much. It's so up my alley and so so me. And this year, I also received this mysterious package with my Hobonichi purchase and I had no idea what it is but it ended up being really cute. The final thing we are unboxing today I didn't actually purchase from my trip to Osaka but the package arrived while I was on my trip and I really really want to unbox this one with you. 
it is a notebook therapy order and it is the notebook i will be using as my bullet journal in 2024 which i have already filmed my 2024 bullet journal setup and i will try to get it edited and up as soon as i can this is the soft feather notebook in the traveler size. Using an A6 pocket bullet journal alongside my big A5 one made me realize how convenient a smaller notebook is, but I still wanted a bigger notebook than an A6 to be my main planner, so I went with this traveler size. This decision might have also been influenced by Blossom Bujo. Her traveler size bullet journal is so cute, and so yeah, I decided to pick one up for myself. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. This video was actually filmed like three weeks ago, but things have been so hectic and I just found the willpower to finish editing this video today. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. All of my stuff is linked down below as always. Have a wonderful day or night. Bye.